On October 9, 2024, the Carroll County Comet published an article written by Amy Graham McCarty in regards to the upcoming double murder trial for Richard Allen. Allen stands accused of causing the deaths of Liberty German and Abigail Williams on February 13, 2017. Jury selection is taking place at the Allen County Courthouse October 14th to 16th in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Insight as to the type of jurors both the state and the defense will likely be looking for and the process itself was provided by Graham McCarty and Indiana attorney Alicia Pratt. Gone, 2,795 days. Jury selection in the Delphi double murder trial less than a week away by Amy Graham McCarty. It has been 2,795 days since Abigail Williams and Liberty German arrived for a walk at the Monon High Bridge Trail. It was an unseasonable warm day for February, and school was closed for a holiday. No one, not Abby, Libby, or their families, ever imagined the girls would not make it home that day. On February 14, 2017, 2,794 days ago, the bodies of Abby and Libby were found not far from where Libby recorded a video of a man telling them to go down the hill. Police believe that man is Richard Allen, a Delphi resident who worked at the local CVS. He was arrested on October 28th, 2022. Carroll County is the epitome of small town USA. Rolling fields ripe for the harvest in fall. Neighbors greeting each other as they stop for coffee at the local McDonald's or grab a bite to eat at a downtown restaurant. Things like this don't happen here until that fateful day of February 13th, 2017. In just five days, Jury selection will begin and the trial of the man accused of killing Abby and Libby will begin. And just like that, this small town will be filled with media and onlookers waiting on bated breath to see what the jury will decide, guilty or innocent. Those in the jury box will be selected by a process known as voir dire. Special Judge Fran Gall said in August, that 400 jury questionnaires were sent to residents of Allen County. From those who received questionnaires, 16 individuals will be chosen for the jury, 12 members, and four alternates. As the Comet's legal expert Alicia Pratt said earlier this year, having knowledge of the news surrounding the deaths of Abby and Libby isn't enough to excuse someone from jury duty for the trial. Pratt said lawyers may be looking for individuals who have not completely dug into the details of the case. Will it be impossible to find someone who has not heard of the case? Pratt says yes. She says attorneys will be looking for someone who may have read a story or watched a news report, not those that are reading every report, listening to podcasts, and following the case on social media. On Monday, October 14th, Voidir begins. Voidir, according to Pratt, means to speak the truth. The difference between Voidir and the initial jury questionnaire is that the questionnaire allows potential jurors to be removed for no reason or cause of bias, potential bias, or a conflict of interest. Voir dire is when attorneys begin questioning the potential jury to dig deeper into their background and to determine if they would make a good juror or not. Attorneys have two opportunities to remove jurors from a case, for cause or through strikes. For cause removal could be because someone is related to someone connected to the case, has an in-depth personal knowledge of the case, or because they are related to the parties or attorneys involved in the case, Pratt said. When removing a jury for cause, both sides can object, according to Pratt. In the end, 
The decision is up to the judge, and it is the judge's job to find a fair jury. Attorneys will also have 10 strikes each. They can use these to release a potential jury member without having to say why they are doing so. Pratt said each side of the case will be looking for something different in a jury member. You don't want someone with a preconceived notion, she said previously. Do I want an analytical professor from Purdue? No. I want someone to listen to everything, and I want to tell them what the law is. Ideally, the defense does not want someone who has kids or grandkids, nieces or nephews. They are going to want a blue-collar worker, middle class, someone who has lived in Indiana their whole life, a family man that can relate to Richard Allen. Finding that person could be difficult, Pratt says. Once the defense finds the right type of jury member, the state will have the opportunity to strike them and remove them from the jury. The state, she said, is going to want people who are pro-law enforcement, people who have family and kids around the same age as Abby and Libby, or people who can relate to the family because they have grandkids, nieces, or nephews. In the end, the final 16 juries will be sequestered for the duration of the trial. Gall has said that she will hear testimony six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Jurors are not allowed to drink alcohol while sequestered, and people who smoke will have to be watched, according to Pratt. She said other restrictions may include no media in the building where they're being sequestered, no calls to family, their devices may be taken, and jurors will not have access to media or the internet. Jurors will also not be allowed to discuss the case until the conclusion of the evidence. In the next week before jury selection, it is expected that both the state and the defense will continue to file motions. There must, these must be done in the event of an appeal, Prada said. Information cannot be brought up on appeal unless it was first discussed or filed during the trial. Jury selection in Allen's trial begins October 14th in Allen County and the trial will begin October 18th in Carroll County.